Hello, I'm Juliet, and we are back to our Christmas uh, decorations. And today I'll show you how to use this crystal uh, glass to make a Christmas decoration. If you'd like this and more of this, please subscribe and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on such videos. And this uh set after i've completed it and several others i'm going to put them all together in a video where i'll show you how to just do quick and easy decor for christmas in an inexpensive way so check the card above for all of them together all right so what will we need of course we will need this crystal glass it doesn't have to be crystal but I happen to have this and they're pretty. I thought they'd be awesome for Christmas. And I'm also going to use this Christmas glitter in red. And why is it Christmas? It's because of the color red. The red that they use here that is a Christmas color. Yes, but any red glitter that you'd like, you can use. And I also have, I'm going to use this May Spring Wine red and these blood red baltic day to mix them to make hopefully a nice christmas color so we'll see how that comes out i've been trying to get the right red you know that looks like christmas and in micas and inks i'm not getting it if you know what, which one that is please let me know in the comment section below so that i can look for that and then of course we are going to use our sunflower mold and you'll see how we use it. To begin with, we need to protect our glass. This top part that we're not putting resin, we need to protect it from the possibility of get re getting resin. And we can't put it too near because we are making a base, a decorative base. We can't put it too down because when we use, for example, the heat gun, we don't want the paper uh, to shrivel when burnt. So we are going to put it a little high, like here. me i'm happy with that this is how it looks so good thing is that we're now working i can hold here i can manipulate it like this with my gloves without worrying about it getting resin and then after that we'll just clean this so that it doesn't have any marks so let me show you how we'll do that We'll just clean it. I'm using an alcohol wipe so that you don't trap any spots and they won't look, they'll be unsightly. And because of this space in here, which helps when a glass uh, turns, you need to have this space so that. Uh, it doesn't topple over, you know, that space helps. Although it doesn't really suction, but the fact that it's not totally flat helps. But for us, because we're going to add a wider base, we don't want to trap bubbles in here when we are putting this in resin. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put glitter here and clear resin until they're level. And then that's when we are now going to work on the base. So I'll show you that because I'm going to wear my protective gear. I'll show you that. 
after this. Our crystal glass Christmas decor is cured. Now all I need is to, to demold this. If you like this and any of my videos, please subscribe and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my videos in the future. And if you want to see more of this, like I have different types of glasses and design that I'm going to share with you on Instagram that I'm not going to do a video for here follow me on Instagram at Juliet Megui Inspires let's see this oh ho, ho. look at that imagine this on your Christmas table as a look at that as a centerpiece or part of a centerpiece stay with me as I show you how it looks nicely when it's done and I take the photos for you on how it looks don't forget to check the card I told you on where I'll show you how we actually use it for decoration today I was showing you how to make it check the card where I'll show you the compilation on how you actually use it to decorate and several others I have already shared with you on my YouTube channel. So God bless you, Baraka Teller. We'll see you on the next one.